so here we have it this is a quick test on the um diesel heater on how many amps this pulls so quickly i'm just gonna go through exactly my process of um what i'm going to do here i've got one of these which is a amp meter um it's a dc so it will work perfect for this um what this is going to tell us is how many amps it's using on startup um i'll then put it on the low setting uh, which this has a night setting so if you want to get exactly this one uh, it's one of the few that does a night setting which actually slows down the pump um, speed so it uses less fuel and it still gives out a good amount of heat so i'm going to put it in that setting first get the heater up to temperature then give it a full blast run and we will see how many amps this pulls and just like my other video where i um, done an experiment on how much water this would heat all the details will be at the end so again if you're just here for the results head on to this time in and it will give you all the results you need um, now as i said this is a five kilowatt the eight kilowatt and the five kilowatt are exactly the same um, no difference at all the eight kilowatts just a an over exaggerated figure um, and the two kilowatt my guess is it's going to be slightly different but the same startup procedure is going to apply the blow plug is still going to draw a lot of that power the fan is still running and i believe it's the same fan the only saving grace that you're going to have is it's going to use slightly less diesel now we are not here to test how much diesel this uses absolutely minimal um, that's not a problem it's just so people get an idea of what leisure battery they'd have to have for this to run constantly or overnight for example so with the glow plug on it's start up as you can see here you're looking around 8 amps this is now at 3 bars which is halfway through um, its range it's relatively quiet we're using 1.64 1.72 1.68 so we'll say around about 1.7 amps um, for half power which is hot um, this would still heat up the van or your motorhome or your truck so I'm just now putting it down onto its lowest setting we're getting between 1.04 amps and 0.98 amps so <laughs> around about one amp um, and yeah I'd say if you left this on overnight you'd you'd be getting really toasty still um, so now what I'm going to do on this model you can actually put it into night mode so what you do is you press the cog button and the OK button together and you'll see that up here in the corner you'll get what looks like mountains it's called plateau mode but what this actually does it slows down the beat of the pump um, now this is to reduce the carbon monoxide build up that could come from the exhaust whether that's just a thing to make this then a two kilowatt which I think it is so in the normal mode this would be a five kilowatt um, and in the plateau mode it actually lowers this down to a two kilowatt so I'm going to call this night mode so as I thought in the night mode on the slowest setting using the same amount of fan speed it's just using less diesel um, so we're exactly around the same sort of um, amp draw as the regular mode so obviously we're just using less diesel in the night mode lowest setting is 122 degrees coming out of this well actually inside here and um, coming out of there is you know probably around about 50 60 degrees so let's ramp this up to setting three on the medium setting um, it's actually fluctuating between 1.5 um, and 1.78 um, so I think it's fair to say that we're going to stick that with the 1.7 amps and at full power in uh, the night mode it's actually drawing on average about 2.7 amps 
And for some reason, it's sitting eight amps on shutdown. I don't know why that is. It's sitting at 8.3 on shutdown for a very, very small amount of time. Now just going through the cooling down process and uh, it's currently sitting at 0.6 of an amp. Fans now spinning quite fast and we are using 1.4 amps. Mode or hi, we lost the camera. Okay, so what this test actually tells us is obviously you can read the screen. It takes um, 0.4 of an amp to start up, and it takes 0.18 amps to shut down. So the start and shut down process is actually taking 0.58 amps in daytime mode in the five kilowatt mode it's drawing 3.2 amps of power per hour this is at half power it's taking 1.7 amps and in the lowest setting it's taking one amp per hour now in the plateau mode um, as the instruction manual calls it however i i call it the nighttime mode because in the manual it actually goes in to say that this is uh, to reduce the carbon monoxide build up so in the lowest power and the half power the night mode is exactly the same as the five kilowatt mode. However, when it starts to change a little bit, the, the full power um, is slightly different and that's purely because what it does is it regulates the pulse. So with the pump in night mode, it doesn't actually pulsate as much. So it's not thrown through as much diesel. Therefore the burn is less, there's less heat in there. So the fan doesn't need to go full power. Um, and that's why you're saving 0.5 of an amp on that. In regards to the startup procedure, the reason that is 0.4 amps, it only takes three minutes, but it actually um, draws 0.4 amps from the battery. And the reason this is, is because you've got a glow plug inside, like any diesel engine, you have a, a, a glow plug and this glows red hot um, and that helps to vaporize the diesel to then combust it. Um, and then the shutdown is purely just the energy used to spin the fan for a short period of time. It's spiked. Um, and that is what I believe to be igniting the glow plug again, just to make sure it's burnt all the um, impurities off or any contaminants to make sure that next time that fires up, it's actually uh, performing as it should. Then from there, it's purely just that fan trying to cool down this large mass of metal, which is had heat inside it and it's just expelling that extra heat just to try to cool it down so your plastic shrouding that goes around it doesn't then just sort of melt and go um, because obviously if it just shut off with no fan on at all that plastic could potentially melt onto the metal casing where all the heat is and either just melt itself to the point where it could potentially catch fire or next time it starts up um it could actually potentially catch fire itself. So that is it. So basically um, what we can take from this is the startup and the shutdown procedure takes 0.58 of an amp. If you were then to start it up again, it would be 0.98 of an amp. So almost one amp. Therefore, if you were going to, if you had the diesel heater already running and you were going to shut it down to start it back up within half hour, 45 minutes, it's not really efficient to do that um it would just be best to put it on the lowest setting um just let it tick over keep running because it takes only one amp of power for one hour's use in the lowest setting i hope this all makes sense to me it does but you know i'm not very good at explaining myself now how does this relate to usage in the real world on a battery so say for example we have a 100 amp hour battery now you may or may not know that you can only actually safely pull 50 percent of that battery power without damaging the battery so if you've got a 100 amp hour battery you are only to remove 50 percent of that which obviously is 50 amps so um with that on full power in the five kilowatt mode so absolute full power um, you can run this continuously on a 100 amp hour battery for 
15.6 hours. That is continuous flat out use. Again, half power, only consuming 1.7 amps. Um, you can run this for 29.4 hours. And on the lowest setting at one amp, obviously a 50 amp hour usage, you'd get 50 hours. Um, now you can run up to 70% discharge on a battery. However, uh, you start to then damage the cells of the battery. Um, there's, there's tiny little cells that are all, there's metal plates and bits and pieces all in between these batteries. And what you do by actually draining them too low, these, these plates, for example, would just then bend like that and they could potentially touch. So if these cells actually touch inside the battery, um, they're short out and you just simply won't ever get um, the amount of amps back. Therefore, your battery then becomes less efficient. And obviously, the more you drain this battery um, below its 70 percent, the more damage you're doing to it. Um, so, yeah, it will take a charge again and you may get up to your volts, but volts isn't amps. So anyway, I hope I haven't confused you too much with all these sort of figures and bits and pieces, but hopefully that gives you some kind of idea as to what diesel heater you want to buy. As I said, what's the point in going for the two kilowatt when you can buy the five kilowatt version and just put, keep it in plateau mode all the time? You won't be losing any power as such in efficiency of the battery. Um, as we've worked out, it's pretty much identical apart from that absolute full power, which you'll never run uh, the diesel heater on especially in the five kilowatt mode, because it just, it, it kicks out a lot of heat. Um, unless you're using this for perhaps a shed or an outbuilding, um, that may be then an idea. But if you're doing that, you may as well go for the five kilowatt anyway, and just rig it up to some kind of 12 volt power source. So anyway, I hope that helps. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments section below. I will be installing this into the van as and when the van turns up. And anyone that's subscribed for the diesel water heater um, i've actually got a 16 kilowatt diesel water heater um david mcclucken's done a um a video on this already and it was him that actually made me go out and buy this um but i'm just going to basically do some amp pulls um some quick tests to see if you can get instant hot water from there and what the flow rate would be a bit geeky stuff but anyway so that's coming up um and then as i said as and when i get my van i will be installing both of these into the van so if you'd like to know how to do that uh, just click subscribe ring the bell ding-a-ling-a-ling -a -ling. um any questions again leave them in the comments i'll get back to you cheers and stay safe and uh happy 2021 i mean it can't be much worse than 2020 can it so uh here's to wishful thinking eh stay safe